You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 15 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create that awesome paint effect like you guys have seen in the intro, so that's going to be really really awesome. Make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now we are in Vegas Pro 15 and there are three clips you need. You will need the paint effect and I will also, I will also leave the download link in the description and also the YouTube channel of the, of the person I got this from because it credits to him, he made this. So so that's why I'm crediting him for that. So that's gonna be really awesome. Everything is in the description and I would say, let's proceed. So we have three clips. The three clips you need is the paint effect itself, a nice background and a image or a video of something. I just used this couple stock footage as you can see right now. And we're gonna drag in our clips right now in our timeline. And it's going to be really, really important what kind of order uh, the clips have. So basically what you want to do first of all is you want to make sure that your background uh, clip is on the bottom paint effect is going to be in the middle and obviously the couple uh, clip is going to be on top so the first thing that we're gonna do is pretty straightforward first track th at the top we're gonna put the compositing mode to multiply mask as you can see it's already all almost coming through then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on the um, the paint track and we're gonna click on make compositing child and also the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and add in a chroma key so we're gonna go to the uh, video effects tab we're gonna scroll down until we see chroma key we're gonna drag uh, the default one on top of the cloud well not the cloud but the paint effect rather and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, and you want to put the color to black so if I play this back this is what it looks like As you can see, that one is looking really, really cool. And that's how you create this awesome paint wipe effect. And obviously you can replace your images with anything else. And that's basically how to do it. This is how you create that awesome paint effect. It is a really, really simple and quick tutorial, but it's not really that easy. You just want to go ahead and drag in the clip that you want to have happening into the paint on top. Put that one to uh, multiply mask. Then you want to have the paint effect itself in the middle. You want to go ahead and click on the make compositing child and then add in a black chroma key on top of it and then we have the background itself at the bottom so we're gonna go ahead and add in some black and white and we're gonna put set let's say I'm gonna put this one to 50% and as you can see this one looks really cool they just this is the final end result and obviously you can add in some funny music so I'm gonna show you guys the official intro one more time and this is basically what it looks in total at the end <laughs> That's how simple it is. This is how you create the awesome paint effect and you probably clicked on this video because you thought it would be really, really difficult, but it's not really not. I'm just explaining to you how it works and obviously you can just pause and rewind the video if it went by too fast. So that's it for this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Also, I'm currently running a Vegas Pro 15 physical copy giveaway. The link is in the description along with the downloads of this. Uh, this essentials, you know, the paint wipe effect and everything. So that's it. Thank you for the continued support. That's all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys. And I will see you guys on Thursday with a brand new video because tomorrow I have a really big day and I don't really have much time to uh, create an awesome video, you know, at the same quality level. So I'm not going to see you guys tomorrow. I will see you guys back on Thursday with an awesome tutorial. So I will catch you guys obviously on Thursday. What is happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a new video. It is Wednesday as it means a new Sony Vegas tutorial for you guys and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to
You see what just happened? I'm gonna explain to you guys how to stop crashes, freezes while rendering, editing when you're dragging in footage. Um, so it drives me insane. I don't know what the problem is when I'm editing. I'm just like really into the editing and then boom, the screen turns white and then I'm fucked. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to a new video and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to fix the uh, the crashes and the freezes in Vegas Pro 15 because even though Vegas Pro 15 has released on August 28th, it still crashes upon me and this has happened to me on every version of version 15, 14, 13 and I just cannot seem to find a fix but finally today I found a fix about how to fix the the, cr uh, the freezes and the crashes in Vegas Pro 15 so make sure to smash the like button down below already and I want to say let's get started so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're not going to, we're going to talk a little bit about how Vegas can crash. So let's say that you're editing and it's a really heavy file like 4K uh, footage for example. If you're going to drag in the next clip to edit, it can crash and that happens to me the most. So what we're going to do is we're not going to drag in, that's the, that's the first thing guys. You don't want to drag in footage because once you've placed your clip into the timeline, it probably won't stop, it will probably stop responding. So the first thing to do, the safest way is go to file. You want to click on import you want to click on media and then obviously you want to just go ahead and drag well not drag but just double click on the file and if i double click on my banner for example right he right here it is basically dragged into the project and that will basically minimize the chance that vegas pro 15 is going to stop responding but that's just a really simple method so we're going to move on to the second thing that you guys can do and the first thing you need to do is you want to go to the options uh, button right at the bottom you want to pick preferences and right here you want to go over to the video tab now as you can see right here it says um, GPU acceleration of video processing right here it is my graphics card but what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put this one to off now if you want to go ahead and click on apply then you will obviously want to click on ok alright guys so I just dragged in a random image because we need to render this, render this out so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select this then we're gonna go to file we're gonna pick render as and this is basically uh, more about how to fix Vegas when it's uh, rendering and then it crashes. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the file render as and we're going to wait until the box is loading. So right here, as you can see, this is the menu. Now what we're going to do, the format, you want to pick Sony AVC uh, MVC. Then what you want to do is you want to go pick Internet 1920 by 1080 30p. You want to just click on Customize Template. So now we are on the menu and the last thing you want to do is you want to go to Project, pick Video Rendering Quality. You want to put that one to Best. And you want to click on OK and that's going to be your template. So this is basically how to avoid crashes and freezes, guys. And it's really simple. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the last video of this week. So I'll see you guys obviously tomorrow. What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and I know I have been inactive like crazy, I think I uploaded only 3 videos last week on Monday, a video, uh, the giveaway announcement, the uh, live stream on Tuesday and then no videos all the way until Saturday but today I'm back with daily uploads, so make sure to smash the like button down below already and I would say let's get started. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create this awesome uh, TV quiz lower third. So, we're going to start off with the first question. First question is, what is Alex going to ask you to do for this video? A. Like this video. B. Subscribe. C. Share this video. Or D. All of the above. That one is up to you guys. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create this awesome TV quiz lower third. So I would say, make sure to hang tight and I would say, let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 15 and like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I was inactive for a few days because I was, again, I was so sick because when I feel like crap, I think the content I will make during that period will be crap as well. So I just waited and right now I am back with new videos every single day. So in this video, like you guys have seen, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create an awesome lower third because this one is a requested video as well. So I would say let's get started. So there's only one thing you basically need and that is an image 
of those uh, of this lower third. I will leave the download link in the description if you guys want to check it out and download it for yourself. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create that awesome lower third. All right, guys. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to drag an image that I will be that I will make uh, available for download in the description. So let me drag in that one real quick. Okay. So right here, this is the image I created in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to also add in a red background so I actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go to the Media Generators tab and we're going to scroll all the way down until you see a solid color. I'm gonna drag in just a red image. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and stretch this guy all the way to there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and click on the uh, track motion icon. What we're gonna do then is we're gonna make this bar a little bit bigger. We're gonna place it also a little bit lower like this. So we will have the answers below. Make sure that it is nice and centered like so. So this is basically uh, the, the bar where the question will be. So we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is going to be the very first box of the, of the answer, answer A. So what we're gonna do is really simple. We're gonna just go ahead and right click on this track. We're gonna duplicate this one. We're gonna go ahead and click on the track motion icon. We're gonna make this guy smaller and we're gonna put that one underneath it like so. So we will have four places to put, uh, to put the, the boxes. So once we've done that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna still keep duplicating this track. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick the top one and we're going to make sure that it is nice and aligned like this. So this is basically how you do that. We're going to go ahead and just duplicate it two more times so we can actually place it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and place uh, this guy right here. I think this one looks uh, very, very tight. Then I'm going to also duplicate it one last more time like so. Duplicate track and we're going to put this guy right below the other guy like so. So we will have four nice boxes uh, touching each other so we're gonna fill in the text right there so let me just adjust this what this guy real quick so i think this one looks very cool and those are your four boxes for your answers so what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and create uh, all the text so we're gonna go to titles and text we're gonna drag in the default one on top of everything on top of each track then we're gonna type in the question so let's say um i'm gonna go ahead and do it like so and I'm gonna just stretch it all the way until the end. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in the question. So what is Alex going to, to ask you to do? Question mark. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the text a little bit smaller because it is pretty big. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. And then what we're gonna do, pretty simple, is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag this guy in this box obviously you could change the font color add in a nice outline and change the font and everything but for the sake of this video i'm not going to do all those details but you guys know how it rolls so what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and duplicate uh well not we're going to duplicate we're going to copy this one create a new video track like so then go ahead and paste this guy in and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in uh, the first answer so what we're going to do is we're going to move, remove the text i'm going to just you know press a and then a dot uh, let's say I'm gonna just uh, type in like this video. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and put this guy right here in this box, nice and easy. So now that we have the first answer in there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and keep creating a new video track, keep you know pasting uh, the text. So we're gonna create for all the answers. So this is going to be B B point, and then I'm gonna just type in. Uh, subscribe for example like like that then we're gonna just again drag this guy right here make sure that they're, they're, they're nice and aligned like so as you can see that one looks really cool and this is basically what you want to do for the entire clip so I'm gonna keep doing that just press Control V like so then I'm gonna just type in the answer that's going to be C which is going to be C dot share this video like so just like all the answers place it nice and aligned underneath each other like so that one looks really really cool copy it and paste it one more time for the final answer and that's going to be d so i'm going to just type in right here just click on d then i'm going to type in d dot and then it's going to be uh all of the above right here we're going to go ahead and do it like so we're going to place this guy again like all the answers in the boxes and this is basically how you create an awesome tv quiz lower third or if you like if you want to do a q a or a question and you want to spice it up a little bit this is how you do it guys so the only thing you need to do is render this out in transparent so what you want to do is remove the background then what you want to do is you're going to select everything because you want to only have the boxes rendered out and not the black background so we're going to go to the file we click on render as and it's going to be really really important so 
So I'm gonna also show you how to render this out without any background, without black backgrounds at all. That's what I did with the intro as well if you, that you guys have seen. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click the quick time. We're gonna pick this guy, uh, the, the 3 Mbps video. We're gonna click on customize template. And then you want to pay attention to some things right here. So the frame size is going to be high definition, 1920 by 1080. The frame rate is going to be 29.977970 NTSC right there. Then the video format is going to be animation. And then the compressed depth is going to be 32 BPP color. And then we would do the, for the last thing is when to click on project. And the video rendering quality, I'm going to put that one to best. And you can also give this a name, for example, masked, or you can call this transparent, transparent like this. And then you want to just save it, render it out like this, and then you can drag it in into all your future projects. So that's how to do it, guys. This is how you create an awesome TV lower third. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. I'll see you guys, obviously, tomorrow with a brand new video, and on Wednesday, and on Thursday, and the day after that, obviously, because I'm back with daily uploads. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for still uh, sticking through with me. And that's it. So I'll see you guys, obviously, in tomorrow's tutorial. Just Alex Halford.